What's going on guys? Just wanted to give you a real quick walkthrough on a job that we are currently doing. We are replacing some geothermal units at an automotive dealership. And basically what we're doing is we're doing it in stages. You can see these are relatively new water furnaces. I believe these are 2008. These are what we were replacing. There was another set of these. There was another one here. There was another two that were sitting back here. We've already replaced those. You may have seen pictures on our Instagram, maybe on our Facebook page. Uh, these are like 35 years old, somewhere around there. So we're doing it in stages. We're replacing these two. We're going to get those two up and running. Then we're going to disconnect these and just kind of try and upgrade the best we can with the budget that they have to, uh, to make this a little bit better situation, better application. Lots of old stuff in here. You can see we went through and started replacing a lot of the shutoff valves. Still see we got quite a few old ones up here, old hoses and such. I uh, got some wiring to take care of up here. There's a lot of things that aren't the way we would have done them, but everything can't be perfect unfortunately, so we're making the best of the situation and replacing it and doing the best that we can. So you can see this shelving unit just completely rotted away. And uh, so that unit sitting on the ground, it's hard to tell because there's not a lot of room in here, but this is sloped significantly backwards. Um, it's just being held up mostly by hope right now. So hopefully it doesn't fall on us, but uh, these are our new shelving units. These are the two Bryant's, uh, I believe they're six ton geos, two stage. So we're in the process of just putting our fittings and everything on and uh, getting ready to do the piping. Like I said, we're going to, the game plan at least, is to get these two in online. Once they're online, we'll go ahead and we will start replacing these two over here and with a new shelving unit in the whole nine yards. So as you can see, it's uh, back up a little bit. That's our flush card also for bleeding the lines and things like that of the loop. But we are uh, pretty snug in here, so hopefully we're not exactly sure how we're going to do this rack. We may have this rack go long ways. It's going to be just like this one. So this, if you can imagine, this will be almost like a little horseshoe. We'll have this rack. We'll have the long, rack going long ways. And then we'll have this one coming out. So that will open this floor up a lot more. Because as you see, we have more water pipes coming in here. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So try to keep you updated as much as possible as you can see it's a really tight working space and it's pretty loud in here most of the time but i'll try to get what film i can so thanks for watching like comment subscribe and we will see you on the next one